Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Kentucky Department of Agriculture made a stop at the University of Pikeville Tuesday to host a Farmer's Roundtable. It's so important that we get out across the state and talk about the state of farming. And here in Pike County, you have basically have a renaissance happen. The local food movement is real. You have a wonderful state-of-the-art farmer's market. And today, I was here to help share some ideas and also listen about the needs of Eastern Kentucky agriculture. After the roundtable discussion, Commissioner Ryan Quarles and his team visited different farms and agricultural sites in the county, starting at App Harvest in Pikeville. Today I brought my work boots, so we're going to be getting out onto some eastern Kentucky farms to see how you all have proven that you can be successful on small acreage. And that's something that I can relate to. I grew up on a small family farm in central Kentucky, and so I like to remind people, particularly in Frankfort, that agriculture is thriving and it exists east of I-75. Members of the Pikeville Farmers Market and the Pike County Cooperative Extension Office were in attendance during Tuesday's discussion. From the market this year, we've picked up four or five more farms. You know, people that wasn't in raising to sell. That they saw examples of how other people have done it. Now they're seeing, you know, here's a chance. You know, everybody needs a little extra money. Downturn in the coal market, that's kind of what led to a bunch of what we do. Commissioner Quarles says he is impressed by local farmers and how local restaurants are linked to Kentucky Proud products. He says his department is hoping to grow the economy by using agriculture as its catalyst. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.